kind of friends that are only happy for us when we are doing better but not better than them the moment we are doing better than them we you'll never hear them congratulate you you'll not do anything like hey mnanijua mnanisikia hmm yeah mnijui nyinyi sidani nilikuaga mbaya time zangu hizo hey hata ni venye size ni usiku ni saa Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Masi Dalidi. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't because that's how you get to um support my content. So, uh some time back, I put up a sticker on my Instagram about uh red flags in a friendship. If you don't follow me please check me out at m_dalidi so that you don't miss on the goodness yeah so um I put up a sticker and I received quite number of replies and thanks to anyone who interacts with me cuz sometimes you just put up a sticker and you get like 10 replies and uh, you know we appreciate we appreciate but thanks for anyone who interacts with me anywhere So first let's uh discuss referencing to what this madam has to say okay I hope you hear I don't know who you think it is but that girl is not your friend Watch out for those females who will get close to you so they could take notes on you compete with you and also try to ruin your plans I'm going to tell y'all a little story. I once had a best friend who I thought was like a sister to me. But then I started peeping that she started doing weird stuff. Like every single guy that I liked or took an interest in, she suddenly wanted to go after them. When I got into a serious relationship, she followed my boyfriend on all his socials and liked all his pictures. She would go out of her way to become friends with my friends that didn't know her. And on social media, she wait before she 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 continues like wait why would you um follow your friend's boyfriend or girlfriend on their social media is it just me or other thing doesn't sit right with me cuz i'll never i've never followed any of my friends partners on their social media unless these people dated like you know i was their friends before and they came into debt after we are already friends that don't make sense but after you've introduced me to your partner and told me like you and uh, you and this guy have something and now i go after this guy starting to like you know follow up on them sis that's a red flag to me would show my friends who had no clue who she was all the love in the world But then when I would post up, it was silence. No likes, no comments, nothing. But she would be at the top of my story views. Every time I told her I had a new goal or plan for myself, she suddenly wanted to do the same thing. And I'm not even trying to sound cocky when I say this, but every time I do go outside, random strangers approach me to tell me that I'm beautiful. And there'd be times that random strangers would approach me and tell me like, "Oh my god, you're so pretty." And she would get mad at me. or she would even get mad at them for complimenting me. And it took me a while to really sit down and realize that she was an enemy disguised as a friend. So watch out for those type of females because your haters are closer than you think. Peace and love though. Now, um there is something that doesn't completely sit right with me. What do you mean by being a silent follower? Okay, silent follower. Like For instance, I have a best friend, some someone like uh my before best friend, like someone we were so so close, very close, super close to me. And this person follows me on they do not follow me on the my social media accounts, but they they are top of my story list. If I post the they are there. They never say anything. They never uh comment on my shit. They never do anything, but they're always watching. That's a red flag, sis. 
that's a super red flag and they are hyping other friends and stuff like this you see if they post something they repost they do this they show all the love but when it comes to me they don't see that's a red flag i'll first give a red flag that i feel is a red flag in a friendship so having a friend who goes out of their way to be friends with my other friends that is a straight up you gotta go because why are you doing that in the first place like yeah um you being my friend you're allowed to have friends right but not unless you all met kando like if you all met kando and tukuja to find out we we share a um, mutual we are mutual friends then that's fine but me introducing you to this person or you seeing me hanging out with this other person and you go out of your way to try and be friends with them sis really nah so let's see what people had to say on the sticker the question tag all right oh wow so this one so this girl had a interest in certain guy and her friend like i develop interest in a certain guy and i tell my friend about it and my friend goes ahead and fucks the guy behind my back and she knows i have interest in that guy like nafanyana nini huko nje that's that's a, like that's not even a red flag throw the whole girl away my then boyfriend was her cousin and the boy bought me an iphone like one and a half years ago so she i told her where well, the girl pressured the boy and buy the same phone i thought i thought it was normal until he bought me he bought me two other things that she asked for the same exact things in the same exact color she said to go like what what is that this babe was snitching on my man by the way apo kwa maneno ya watu wawili wenye wameona na uchi me personally i don't involve myself never let me tell you um one time one point in time there was this girl that was a bit close to me and the boyfriend was also close to me so i knew the boyfriend like more not more but i knew the boyfriend was uh, was like playing her and da, 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 and i knew the uh, the bitches he was like playing her with so i being the good sister that i thought i was i told this girl like um you know i don't want you to be mad but i feel like you you should know you need to know that your man is doing this and this and this where see this girl just went straight to that man and i don't know what happened and she told him exact thing i told her which was the truth but again i learned to put my upper and lip my upper and lower lip together every other time me i see your man cheating that's not my business if they talk trash about everyone the second they leave the room this is more just occasional i don't like that trait about like i don't like trait about person we all do that from time to time when they act like they're friends with someone they o they only talk they only only to talk trash about them behind their back they're obviously not your friend they're absolutely saying stuff about you too by the way um come to think of it like if you're used to someone mwenye nakuletenga tu dako kila wakati this person is always up on her heels to just tell you eh hey, so and so da 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 so and so da 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 sis you sit there thinking at you unaletea udako the very same thing is happening and it is about you also having friends that you know you're in a room have you ever been in a situation where 
you are even afraid to stand up and walk out because the next person who will be, uh, the next topic will be you please uh, just stop interacting with that kind of people cuz i've not done that for the longest and it's peaceful cuz you can't be seated everywhere always talking about people you mean hamna ideas you don't have something interesting to talk about it has to be about people by the way someone who's always bringing me udaku about other people i'm always so keen about them i love to make it was they're, they're like bringing me udaku about that uh, that person and they're like hanging out with that person consistent Now what makes you think I like trust you with my shit? Cuz you're gonna tell the that exact person shit about me. So that is a super red flag. Uh, when you hang out with them, it feels like you're diffusing a bomb when there's nothing going on right then. Um this is basically like you feel like you're that is what we call like walking on eggshells like you're even afraid of what to say like if you want to talk about something you think through it to like usim offend or maybe they'll take it this kind of way that is a super super red flag because if few people are friends kuna venye you'll just talk openly without the fear of being judged without you know this small small thing so the moment you feel like ukona hiyo woga to speak up uh, to speak out about something to tell them about uh, something going in your life to tell them about the new achievement that is not your friend okay that is not your friend that is a red flag run friends that only care to talk about their own success and aren't aren't genuinely happy for you and yours unless it amounts to less than their own now 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 when do you need to be told that the closest people that we think are our friends are not our friends unless you learn that nobody will ever tell you about it now we have this kind of friends that are only happy for us when we are doing better but not better than them the moment we are doing better than them we, you'll never hear them congratulate you you'll not do anything like wanataka nga tu ikwe kama you're doing something uko chini yao the moment you unawatek you are a, you are an enemy but they'll be on the lot they won't tell you that but then please sis that gut feeling will always tell you about that kind of friend and respect the gut feeling usijifanye hapa congestionati oh now sasa i'll fight it na the, you're now fighting your gut feeling excuse me utalia utaitana friends who seem like they're si- silently competing with you they have to one up you instead of supporting you Okay, I don't get it, but I think they're talking about friends who silently compete with you. To think of it. Have you ever told someone about an idea like you want to start this and they run to do it first before you do it? I'm not saying it's bad, but why would you just do it because after I've told you about it, ndo unataka kukimbia kwenda kufanya? Why would you do that? Like friends, why why are you trying to if I'm your friend, I should be happy for you. You should be happy for me. Why are you trying to compete with me on the low? Why? They hit you up and act all friendly, make tentative plans, then immediately ask for something. We have friends like that. We have friends like that those ones that will just hit you to start silly conversations like how are you doing da 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 and say dear so turn up excuse me Alafu there are the same people who are as you're asking for shit urgently you we just have to learn that your agency is not my agency your failure to plan does not result to 
you know like it is okay it's not like but it's okay to ask for that thing urgently but if you ask for it urgently from me and i say no please learn to take a no for an answer i don't owe you shit nobody owes you shit okay so uh if like you can't just keep me as a friend of favors of nisaidia sombili nisaidia sombili each and every other time excuse me if we are close enough then you know for a fact hiyo si issue na mimi if we are close enough but ile ingine tu at yo ah no bro mm -mm. i can't be your emergency number i can't be your i need that urgently every other time ah uh ah -uh. where mm -mm. they complain about everyone they complain about everyone yani it's giving all my excess are crazy you know it's that kind of, that kind of vibe like mbona tu unashindwa me complain about everyone it means you are the problem it can't be just everyone una <clears throat> like you've been friends with this you're complaining this person does this oh sijui nini nini you are the problem you are the problem and you need to check out on yourself so if you come to me complaining about everyone every other time uh -uh, me I'll cut you off cause uh uh there you are the problem i don't need that kind of energy no mm -mm. friends always asking for favors but never there when you need them to return one okay if it's your problem we are too if it's my problem i'm alone why are we even friends in the first place why are we friends at they only talk to you when all their other friends are gone when what am i have you ever been in, invited to a party that where peke yako like me i invite you to a party and uh, there in that party you just know me but me i go there then i meet all my other friends who are not your friends so i just go and socialize with them i leave you hanging and to make it worse i know that you are a, you are an, an you are an introvert you are afraid of making new friends it's hard for you na kuachanisha tu hivyo imagine utain invite mali niende tena huta wine invite mali niende what's that inability or unwillingness to apologize when they do something wrong it's symptomatic of an ego issue that will eventually infect every aspect of your friendship that is uh, so, that is same with not taking responsibility i cannot fancy a friend who can't take responsibility if you've hurt me tell me sorry okay it's just not because you're my friend you can hurt me and go like that at atakwa to sawa the fuck do you mean you you know want to manipulate me and make me feel like it's okay to hurt me okay and you don't apologize okay? you deserve to be in the bin friends who make jokes or rather who make insults in form of jokes watch them I've been seeing this trend on 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 YouTube on TikTok at a, I'm passing the phone to someone who sleeps with their stepfather and I don't know what 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 I'm passing the phone to someone who who doesn't have um a, a bat and I don't know what kind of jokes are those what kind of jokes are those why are you using my insecurities against me and call them jokes why are you doing that like if you know i have an insecurity why are you using that insecurity against me and make it as a joke and by the way listen many of these truths are always put in form of jokes listen to those jokes closely that is where the truth is that is where as in that's something that this person has been waiting all their life to tell you they've just not had um best space to tell you friends who don't let you have any other friends and require a hundred percent of your time when they can't give you the same listen if you're my friend you 
I have no problem you having other friends. Like, life doesn't revolve around me, okay? You need to have a life more than just having me around. Now, what do you mean that I now can't have any other friends? Really? Really, sis? Nah, uh-uh. Uh-uh, wait. Do you, do you not want to own me or something? Do you want to own me? Uh uh, wait. Peter Ukiendanga. Friends who send you screenshots of private messages with other people. Guess what? Your private messages are being sent around too. Friends who constantly call you for advice but never take it and continue to involve you in their drama. If you're not going to make moves to improve your situation, stop asking me for help. And that one, I feel that I am guilty and most of us are guilty, okay? Sometimes, um, iki to iko relationship related. We tend to, you see, uh, this guy is doing this, this guy is doing this. You call your bestie like, um, nini nini, this guy, da 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 da. Your bestie tells you like, this guy has already shown you a hundred red flags. Why don't you just leave? And you're like, I live. And you, the next day, you're at this nigger's house. Okay, I'm guilty, but it's not about me. It's about you, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's not constantly keep making our friends as ther therapists. It also t we also tend to like drain them to now drain unknowingly. Okay, when you realize that you are more yourself when they are not around. This thing in to make sense. If I'm not being myself when I'm around you, if I'm trying to contain myself on how to talk when I'm around you, if I'm suppressing my true self when I'm around you, that means I'm not supposed to be around you. You are not supposed to be around me because you're some negative as energy. I don't need you in my life. And when you understand that, just sit down and reflect on that friend who akikuja kukana wewe, you think you, you're not supposed to talk anything because you're not supposed to say anything regarding your life because you're going to hear it, I don't know where. So the moment you feel that you are not being yourself when you are with a friend, then cease. Trust that gut feeling and trust it. Don't compromise. Friends who are good to you, one-on-one, -on -one, but constantly put you down in group settings, this is a big sign of insecurity or jealousy. By the way, now, before we talk about that, if you're my friend, if you are my friend, and you had people gossip about me, then you come and tell me. I'll ask you, what did you tell them the moment you had them talking about me? Did you try to defend me? If you didn't, you are one of them. You're not my friend. Like, you didn't defend me. Sasa unabeba udaku na kuja kuniletea. And when they were talking, you never tried to defend me. You're one of them. Just leave me alone. Mm -mm. Leave me alone. And we have, uh, the other time I saw Piera Makena post that her friends, the people she calls or who consider her, who she considers her friends, were very quick to you see, send her screenshots and posts about blogs talking about she had post like she had like posted a kinda inappropriate picture that went round on blogs. So she was like, um, her friends now sent her, you know what the blog uh, the blogs are saying da 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 da. Like, have you seen this? You you understand? Now they were sending her the screenshot, and immediately she was like nominated to be I don't know what DJ da 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 da. She got a handful of comments regarding what she had, like her achievement. But now that she was going down the drain with the other blog posts, hasa hapo ndo marafiki wako hivi. Umeona hii, umeona hii. Na sasa sahi nime nominate. Si mshe hii, sasa pia watu wa yone wani nominate. You guys, 
just be careful of you of who you call friends me I told myself in 20, 2022 is a year i'm turning 22 this year and i don't want to talk about anything regarding friendship at the oh, people are fake people are what as a former of a sharer as a former of a sharer i've learned to put my upper and lower lip together and just you should embrace that because this these people we, we we call galis these i don't know who we are the close friends those ones those are the same people who will troll you with fake pages and come to you with the real accounts telling you oh i'm so sorry trying to defend you and they are defending their fake pages they are defending you against their fake pages and they wrote that be very careful be ve oh my goodness your enemies are closer than you think comment down below what are other red flags in friendships or what is that thing you consider as a red flag in a friendship thank you for anyone who interacted with me please i hope you put this in consideration we don't want to talk about uh friends being scam every other day that is it guys if you like this kind of video please leave a like leave a comment leave a share and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye